down here at the Columbia River Gorge to hike Hamilton Mountain and Hamilton Mountain is about 3.2 miles in and 3.2 miles out uh, you could also do the loop and the loop it's about eight miles but I think we just go in and out so 20, 20. it's about 2060 elevation gain I think, uh, and it is near the uh, Viking Rock uh, State Park. The hike here is going through this uh, old growth area here, and we will see a waterfall, uh, which is a uh, running falls, and also pool other winds. I hear water, so we must be near the fall. I can definitely hear the water. We'll come upon a crossing bridge. Oh, so this is Hardy Falls. Going down to the viewpoint. Oh, it's very muddy here. So, watch your step. There you go. Hardy Falls. Continue going down. We're back on the main road. Crossing over the bridge. This is Pool of the Winds. So let's go check out Pool of the Winds. Oh, these are big stamps. That first stamp is huge. Oh, this is so cool. You go right along the edge here. This is pool of the wind. <laughs> That's pool of the wind. That's pretty cool. Oh, pass at the pool of the wind. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, Ramona Falls is very beautiful. And this one is kind of similar. Yeah, smaller, but it's uh, similar. Ooh, very muddy.
uh, we're halfway through the hike and we saw two waterfalls and the what's that pool of the winds uh, that's yeah very beautiful over there and just around the corner we're coming upon a viewpoint overlooking right into the Columbia River Gorge and Columbia River way below uh, to the right you see that big mountain over there uh, that's a it's not a mountain it's actually a uh, rock it's called Beacon Rock okay right here is where the incline starts and we are going just up straight up so we're just going slowly going up got to this area here and got all these uh, killer switchbacks uh, start to rain a little bit but we are under all these trees so it's not as bad yeah you can't even see the river and the other side oh yeah on a clear day you can see as far as the eyes can see but here you can't really see that well but you can see a little bit yeah that's baking rock So nice up here. It's really high up in the cliff here. Oh yeah, this is as far as I want to go. Whoa, scary. Whew. <laughs> we have to do a little scrambling up here to this side of the mountain here with some loose rocks just need to be careful Continue going up. It's a little shower, misty and cloudy, but nonetheless, it's a very beautiful day. At least it's not hot. It's pretty foggy.
summit. Let's start the rain. The rain is really coming down. Start to rain, so we are hiding under the trees here. Let up a little bit. Looks like the sun's starting to come out. Could it be? We are almost at the summit, but not quite sure when that's gonna be. Hamilton Mountain Summit is a little bit disappointed, but you know, along the way here, there's a lot of beautiful places to view and see. So, all in all, it's not a bad trail. It's just that when you get to the top here, uh, it's kind of cloudy today, and there's a lot of uh, overgrown trees, so you can't really see much, but it's a good hike. So we're starting to descend and on the way back to the parking lot. So I'll see you next time on a different hike.